Mary Esther, a name that resonates in the realm of classic Hollywood, leaves us with a treasure trove of intriguing stories and unforgettable performances. Whether you know her from her iconic role in the Maltese Falcon or perhaps you have a lesser known fact or anecdote about her that piques your interest, one thing is certain, Mary Esther's legacy is etched in the annals of cinema history. So, are there any lesser known facts or anecdotes about Mary Esther that fascinate you? Or, which work of Mary Esther do you hold closest to your heart? Before we dive into her captivating journey, we're eager to hear your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic Hollywood actor. Share your stories and memories in the comments below, and let's keep the conversation alive. Now, let's unravel the intriguing world of Mary Esther and uncover some of the lesser-known facets of her life and career. Mary Esther, the renowned actress, made her mark in Hollywood with a career spanning several decades. Her journey began after attending and graduating from Kenwood Loring School in Chicago, Illinois. In the early 1920s, she earned $500 per week at Famous Players, and later rose to $3,750 per week at 20th Century Fox during the 40-week 1928-1929 season. Esther's talent and dedication to her craft were evident in her impressive filmography. She appeared in six films that have been selected for the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress, recognizing their cultural, historical, or aesthetic significance. These films include Red Dust, Dodsworth, The Prisoner of Zenda, Midnight, The Maltese Falcon, and Meet Me in St. Louis. Mary Esther's legacy in the world of cinema is undoubtedly remarkable, and her contributions continue to be celebrated today. Mary Esther, the accomplished actress known for her striking auburn hair, had a remarkable career in Hollywood. Her nickname Rusty stemmed from this distinct hair color, described as Titian in one fan magazine. Her dark, expressive eyes complemented her unique hair. While her talent on the screen was undeniable, Esther faced personal challenges. Following her affair with George S. Kaufman, there was a tense moment during the filming of Dodsworth. She was on the verge of being fired, but it was Samuel Goldwyn's insistence that kept her in the picture. Later in life, Mary Esther's health deteriorated due to a chronic heart condition. After living with her son Tono in Fountain Valley, California, she moved to a small cottage on the grounds of the motion picture and television country house in Woodland Hills in 1971. Mary Esther's life and career were a fascinating mix of success and personal struggles, making her a memorable figure in the world of cinema. Her talent and the unique features that defined her, like her auburn hair and dark eyes, remain part of her enduring legacy. After shooting Little Women, Esther decided against renewing her contract with Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer as she had grown tired of playing humdrum mothers. Mary Esther, the accomplished actress with a career spanning several decades, made a significant career decision after her work in Little Women. Her choice to not renew her contract with Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer marked a turning point in her Hollywood journey. Over the years, she had become known for her talent and versatility on screen, but she was no longer content with repetitive roles as mothers. This decision led her in a different direction and had a lasting impact on her career. It's a testament to her determination and desire for more diverse roles in the world of cinema. Mary Esther's Hollywood career was marked by significant moments and personal challenges. One such moment was in 1941 when Betty Davis, a close friend of Esther's, stepped aside from the lead role in The Great Lie to allow Esther to shine. This selfless act by Davis helped Esther secure the Best Supporting Actress Oscar for her outstanding performance. Later in her life, Esther decided to share her personal struggles with the world. In 1959, she wrote her best-selling autobiography, My Story, where she openly discussed her battles with alcohol and failed marriages. Surprisingly, she avoided discussing her film career in this tell-all. However, in 1971, she published A Life on Film, a memoir that finally delved into her experiences in the movie industry. This book also became a bestseller. These events in Esther's life show her as a multi-dimensional figure, both on and off the screen, and her story continues to captivate audiences today. Mary Esther's life was marked by significant moments and personal challenges. One such moment came in 1941 when she received the Best Supporting Actress Oscar for her outstanding performance in The Great Lie. 
What makes this moment even more remarkable is that her close friend Betty Davis stepped aside from the lead role to allow Esther to shine, a selfless act that secured her the prestigious award. Later in her life, Esther decided to share her personal struggles with the world. In 1959, she wrote her best-selling autobiography, My Story, where she openly discussed her battles with alcohol and failed marriages. Surprisingly, she avoided discussing her film career in this tell-all. However, in 1971, she published A Life on Film, a memoir that finally delved into her experiences in the movie industry, which also became a bestseller. These events in Esther's life paint a picture of a multi-dimensional figure, both on and off the screen, and her story continues to captivate audiences today. It's a testament to her resilience and the lasting impact she had on the world of cinema. Mary Esther, the accomplished actress known for her remarkable career in Hollywood, had her share of extraordinary life events. One such event was the premature birth of her daughter Marilyn on her yacht in Honolulu, Hawaii. This life-threatening ordeal tested both mother and daughter's survival. While her filmography showcases her talent, it's these personal challenges that add depth to her story. Despite a successful Hollywood career, Esther faced struggles both on and off the screen. She made a significant career decision after appearing in Youngblood Hawk in 1964, opting not to renew her contract with Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer. This marked a turning point as she sought more diverse roles and new challenges. In 1951, Esther converted to Roman Catholicism after a suicide attempt, underscoring her complex personal journey. She also shared her personal battles with the world through her best-selling autobiography, My Story, in 1959. Surprisingly, she avoided discussing her film career in this tell-all but later provided insight into her experiences in the movie industry with her 1971 memoir, A Life on Film. Mary Esther's life was a multi-dimensional tapestry of success and personal struggles, making her a captivating figure in the world of cinema, leaving a lasting impact on the industry. 5. Negotiating Shadows, The Tragic Consequences of Ruthless Deals and Greed-Driven Contracts for Mary Esther in Past Hollywood Mary Esther, the celebrated actress, found herself entangled in the ruthless world of Hollywood contracts and deals, facing consequences that would shape her career and life. In an era where studio contracts wielded significant power, Esther's journey was marked by the challenges posed by these unrelenting agreements. Her experiences shed light on the dark side of the entertainment industry. During her time in Hollywood, Esther's talent and versatility made her a sought-after actress. However, she grappled with the weight of contractual obligations that often left her with limited control over her career. The desire for financial gain and the pursuit of profit often took precedence over an artist's well-being. While her talent shone on the silver screen, Esther's personal life was overshadowed by the demands of her contracts. The ruthless nature of the industry led to her making choices that may not have been in her best interest. These decisions, driven by financial considerations, brought her both success and struggles. The world of Hollywood contracts and the pursuit of wealth took a toll on Mary Esther's life and career. Her story serves as a stark reminder of the sacrifices made by artists in the name of fame and fortune. Negotiating these shadows of the past Hollywood, Mary Esther's legacy is a testament to the challenges faced by actors of her time. As we bid adieu to this captivating journey through the life and work of the remarkable actress Mary Esther, I invite you to pause for a moment and ponder your own connection with her. Mary Esther, with her timeless grace and talent, has undoubtedly left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. Whether you've been touched by her endearing performances in classics like The Maltese Falcon or have been enchanted by her presence in countless other cinematic gems, there's no denying the enduring impact of her artistry. Now is the perfect time to reflect on the moments when her on-screen presence transported you to another world or stirred your emotions in a profound way. Share your cherished memories and thoughts about Mary Esther's performances with the world. Let the magic she brought to the silver screen continue to shine through your words. Celebrate her contributions to the world of film and the way she made characters come to life. We express our heartfelt appreciation for the legacy of actress Mary Esther and for your time and interest in this exploration of her life.
Together, we've celebrated the enduring power of cinematic artistry, and we thank you for being a part of this journey.